Okay, as we import image, process with the keys, adjustment, everything. In some cases, key like right here, small errors, you can see we still have it. A problem, we want to use it, mask. So, and this is next cycle, kind of a workflow to add, create mask. Mask can be very simple, just to create areas, or can be a little bit more complex. So we look on some masks in um, when we work with a kink and Photoshop plugin. So we was using removing area and we can do same things very simple by go ahead and create or we can let's go create first mask. So we add mask. You can notice one mask created and we can just very simple go around and by default mask apply as remove this object. You can change how this effect applied by switching to the tab and you have the remove or retain alpha. So we can have a different ways. Also, we can inverse mask. So now it is inverted or keep it same. And in some cases, you maybe want to use the feather. So for example, if it was very close and I just cut mask over close to the hand, or some other colors, I probably will use it a little bit more feathering. And you can see right here how the feathering is expanded. So you can actually preview how many pixels. And it will try to blend between these two scenes. Okay, so let's go back. And this is kind of simple mask, one way to do it. So if we're going and select a little bit different, can okay, you can see it's kind of okay, but the t shirt. The color of it's in blue, but it's semi transparent because chroma key was very close. We can try inside the key and try maybe rework slightly here, but I don't think it will help a lot because we can try set properly keys, maybe matching with a brighter area, a little bit more green, a little bit more bluish color. But again, we still have some problems, so it still be somewhat transparent on this case. Um, and some adjustments that we maybe use it for the mask. Let's go look on the made. It's not necessary work because now we're introducing a lot of um, effect and cutting down. We can try, you know, to just to bring a little bit closer to this. Okay, we can do try to do best, but right here we start introducing other problems in this. So we have right here shadows. We're kind of bringing closer, but still have it problems. So and sometimes it's much easy to solve this by going inside um, mask and creating mask for this. So let's go ahead. We'll click on a mask and you'll notice right here. We still have a mask from previous and the reason why, because we did not set as a unique. So that mask, what you're applying, it will apply for all images to have it just a specific one. We need to go ahead and enable click on unique. So now you notice we have this yellow border around our image to notify this is set as unique. So whatever changes we apply right now to this image, they won't be global. They will be just only to this one image. So now we'll just reuse the mask we had. So I'm just go ahead and take this one, move it right there. So we kind of cut off one area. Uh, we have a little bit on this side. So let's go ahead and click add. And you notice we have a second mask created. And we in a created mode. So I'm going to just around adjustment. Let's close it. So now we have a two masks. One and two. Anytime when we want to, we can just disable them. So we want preview or we want to use it in some other areas. And many masks you can use it if your camera is stationary. So in this case, I was photo shooting on a hand. So many times it was changing. So I need kind of adjustment. Let's look right here. So we have it our short. Okay. And I want to take this short and preserve. So what I'm going to do is create another mask. And many times I will just go and I don't really, you know, worry too much be close enough. But I want to just go around. Go right there. Let's go around the tie. Okay, so here's one and I want to actually retain alpha on this. So notice how it's come up. We have a problem with edges and it's where the feathering can help us slightly. So you can see it's kind of start blending a bit more with colors. Of course, you can zoom in and do more precision mask. This is kind of freehand. I done fast just for the purpose of this tutorial, but 
Right here we can apply it, same we can apply on some faces and it's work very well. And again, this is kind of helping us, but notice what problem we have right here with feathering. We start feathering in in this little bit green screen on the back. So let's just bring slightly down maybe a few of them. Okay, and we can do another one for this side as well. Okay, if you are um, mass producing these images, if you have it like photo booth and again, let's switch to retain photo booth and you have it, people just come and go very fast. You may don't have a time to do this, but it's nice to know that you can do very detailed masking. You can um, go right there and just create and kind of king. So by the way, right here, here we have a little bit problem on again. So let me take it down some clear up a little bit more and you can see right here we create mask um, of course some areas because i say it was a little bit sloppy job right here when i did it key but overall we can extract and masks they can work both ways they can remove areas like mask one and two okay they also can preserve some areas for us and when you select you can always go to modify switch on select tool and you can readjust those points included handles how far you want to go or how well curve you want to do as well you notice right here you have additional options to mask the curve or hard edge so you can switch between them as well we have it feathering invert and we can also open mask so overall this is very similar to other tools in the mask and um, kind of useful when you mostly want to cut some areas out of the 